All right, guys. So following the international break, which did feature the usual disappointment for Ireland fans, the Premier League is back and back with a bang. There were some crazy results this weekend, as well as some insane goals and some absolutely mental refereeing. So let's get straight to it with who is flying high. Really, there can only be one answer here. Aston Villa, who are just a single point behind leaders Everton with a game in hand. Ross Barkley was on the score sheet for them again, scoring the 90th minute winner in a 1-0 victory over Leicester. Speaking of Leicester, it wasn't that long ago that they won the league, having only just survived relegation by the skin of their teeth the season before. Could Aston Villa be on their way to doing the same? Time will tell. Next up is who dropped the ball, and I am only delighted to give a huge shout out to Tottenham Hotspur for saving Chelsea from featuring here. Seriously though, they were 3-0 up, at home, against a team that they'd probably expect to beat, and they end up bottling it, becoming the first team ever to fail out to win a game despite leading by three goals as late as the 81st minute. Beautiful. I do need to pay homage to West Ham as well. They stayed in the fight till the very end and got their just rewards when Lanzini unleashed easily one of the goals of the season into the top corner with the last kick of the game. Declan Rice might not be my favourite person in the world, but I'll admit, this tweet from him was golden. Now, onto the shock of the week, and without any real surprising results, I'm instead going to bend the rules slightly and talk about the Everton-Liverpool game, but I won't be focusing on the scoreline, instead, I'll be focusing on the performance of VAR. Barr made some calls in this game that were, dare I say, shocking. The first and most obvious of these was the Pickford challenge on Virgil van Dijk, and yes, I do think it was absolutely a red card. Apparently, the reason why a red card wasn't shown to Jordan Pickford was because they forgot that they could show a red card for violent conduct despite the offside decision. Just let that sink in for a second. They literally take all the time in the world to make their decisions. They look at things from absolutely every angle. They don't have the same pressure as the referee of being out on the pitch. And yet, they forgot. I don't know. It was just pure ridiculous for me. And it looks like Virgil van Dijk is going to be out for the rest of the season. While that's good news for Chelsea... I do have a lot of Dutch family, so I do hope he's back in time for the Euros. Now, there was another incident in this game where a red card wasn't dished out. It was a tough thing to spot, and I actually didn't notice it myself until a friend pointed it out, but it happened at the same time as the Richarlison horror tackle. Right in the lead-up to that, Yeri Mina won the ball in the air against Sadio Mane. The Liverpool winger responded to this by sticking a leg out to purposely trip the Everton centre-back. It wasn't anything dangerous, but Mane was already on a yellow card at the time and could easily have received a second yellow for this and gotten sent off. I looked it up and the rules do say the VAR won't step in to dish out yellow cards, even second yellows, but now my question is, why? There was such a long break while the whole Richarlison incident was sorted out that I don't understand why the video assistant ref couldn't take five seconds to just say into the ear of Michael Oliver, Look, we also need to go give Mane a yellow card. And that's not even it from VAR in this game. There was also the final moment of madness in the last few minutes of the game with the offside decision to rule out Liverpool's winner. I'm not going to waste too much breath on this. Instead, I think I might make a separate video about the offside rule. So, comment below. If you could change the offside rule to get rid of these ridiculous decisions, what would you change it to? Okay, now that that rant is finally over, we can move on to the star of the week. It's pretty much a toss-up between Timo Werner and Harry Kane. Both scored two goals and got one assist, and both of their games finished 3 all. But I'm going to go for Werner. I know, it seems like this is just Chelsea bias, but the truth is, it's 100% Chelsea bias. Seriously though, both of Werner's goals were amazing. He really showed Premier League defences just how afraid of him they should be. And I love how selfless he was in assisting Havertz for the third goal. I was wearing my new lucky Chelsea socks during that game. They might not have been too lucky for the scoreline, but they seem to work for Timo. So I guess I'll keep trying them out. Anyway guys, I'm not going to talk about Chelsea here since I've already covered them quite extensively in my player ratings video. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you pop over and give it a look. But if you have enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more footy chats. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video.